Hey guys, welcome back to my channel SAP Agile Learners. Today we are going to talk about fragments in SAP Fiori or SAP Fiori 5. And I hope that you have seen my previous videos. If not, please press the top right icon, which will explain you the concepts of SAP Fiori and tools to develop your own apps. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe for my upcoming videos. Now let's get started. So here is our today agenda fragments and SAP UI 5 demo fragments fragments are lightweight UI parts they are reusable and do not have any controller a fragment can consist of one to end controls control like dialog which we will see in our today demo and it is independent of MVC concept also, SAP UI 5 provides different types of fragments like XML, HTML, and JS fragments. But we are going to use XML fragments only as they are easy to understand. Next come our SAP UI 5 demo. So let's switch to the Eclipse editor. So we will be creating an XML fragment containing the dialog. Dialogs are special because they open on top of our view. It can be used in more than one view, so they are reusable too. Here I have created a new project, SL Demo 05, having just controller and XML files in XML view XML file. I have just added a button and give it a event called press on button click. Now go to the controller.js file. Here I just have mentioned that press event where we will be writing our code. So create a new file in your view folder. Right click on new folder, go to other and select XML folder and that select XML file. Click next and give it a name something like dialog.fragment.xml. This part gonna be your same for every fragment files so keep it in mind now click next just click next and just untick this checkbox and click finish so let me just write some piece of code then i will show you what i have written Core equals to your SAP dot UI dot core. Next, I am adding the dialog. Let's give it an ID. Uh, let's say ID dialog and give it a title like a fragment containing dialog save it so the fragment assets are located in the core namespace so I have added an XML namespace 
for it inside the fragment definition tag. Here I have added an ID, ID dialog for our dialog so that in the controller I can use it. Now let's go to the controller.js file where we will be calling this dialog fragment view. So here I'm creating a variable my view and just getting my view in that using this dot get view statement. Let me just write it completely, then I will explain you the code. Dialog go to SAP dot UI dot XML fragment and that I'm going to pass some arguments Here we will pass uh, our fragment file path name like sl underscore demo 05 dot view dot dialog like this sl demo 05 and then folder name and then your dialog file. dependent so let's understand what i have written so here I just got get my view so that later I can add my dialog on top of our view. Next in this statement here I have defined the id id dialog for the dialog control that we have provided here so that we can access the dialog via the view by calling my view dot by id. Next we are checking if o dialog is not empty then it will come inside and then here we have instantiated our fragment by calling the sap.ui.xml fragment two arguments the path of the fragment definition and id of the current view that is of view 01 where we will be going to call this dialog Next, I have added the dialog as dependent on the view to be connected to the lifecycle of the views model. Note this step is very important to think that work out. So don't miss this. And finally, I have used the open method to open our fragment view. Now let's just run our project. Right click on that and just Go to run as web preview.
it takes some time so just let's have some patience Also like dialog you can also uh, show uh, something like pop up where you can uh, like uh, you can show some check boxes on the basis of that user can select which option they want. So similarly you can add the check boxes list also enough as a fragment view. So here is our output. Let's click on this button that we have given in the view XML file so that it will open our fragment view okay I think there is some problem let me just check it okay we have added the dialog okay 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 so where it is okay add dependent Oh, sorry guys, so I have just uh, given it a name in capital, so just rename the file name and make it a small f, just save it and just go to index.html output, just refresh it, so now click on this, so guys, here is your fragment view on top of your existing view. So this is what we call fragment in SAP UI5. And if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.